Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pranay Patel here. So nowadays we are hearing a lot about the PCR, that is polymerase chain reaction and RT-PCR. So that is the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. So we are going to focus on what is the PCR and what is the reverse transcription and uh, polymerase chain reaction. So nowadays we are hearing this because of the coronavirus as you know very well. In this thread we will try to learn the what is the PCR. So polymerase chain reaction what it does? So we'll learn. We'll take first this one. What is the PCR? So if it, this is the DNA, so what it does? It depends on the you which fragment you wanted to take a multiple copies and amplification. It will take a one segment of the DNA, and this segment will get multiple copies by the polymerase chain reaction. So, if this fragment you want, so this fragment only they will repeatedly multiplied by the polymerase chain reaction. So, we got the genome of the RNA virus that is the coronavirus which is given by the China to WHO. We know what are the proteins, what is the E protein, what is the M protein, what is the genome. Uh, how it, the uh, structure of the coronavirus it has, what are the proteins it has on it on its body. So some country may select another protein and some country may select another protein. So whatever they wanted to test it. So based on that, then if we name it is 1, 2, 3. So if we wanted to, these are 3 proteins we have and named as 1, 2 and 3. So India wanted to see uh, only the two, two protein means we name it as E protein. If in India we wanted to test only one protein is sufficient to say that whether the the swab which is collected from the nose or the throat or the sputum, so whatever or by the uh, lung secretions. So so uh, we just wanted to identify whether it has E protein in it or not. So, it is very difficult as you know, it is a very minute structure. So, what we wanted to do? We wanted to amplify and multiplication, multiple copies of that. But polymerase chain reaction only be useful to replicate or take multiple copies of the DNA only, not the RNA. So, when we look into the cell, cell nucleus. So DNA will be situated here in the nucleus. So this nucleus will get, sorry, this DNA will get breakdown and make a single copy, sorry, a single strain. So this breaking is called as transcription. So DNA which is in the nucleus will get breakdown which is a double strain so become a single strain and it will come out from the nucleus so then it is called as RNA. RNA is a single strain. Our coronavirus COVID-19 is a RNA that we can't take that RNA for the amplification and getting multiple copies, billions of copies. See, this PCR is invented in the year 1984 by American biochemist Carrie Mullis and he got a Nobel Prize for this invention. So the disadvantages of this polymerase chain reaction is we can't take the RNA for the investigation and as I told earlier, so DNA getting converted into RNA is called a transcription and here what we need is the DNA. So what have what we supposed to do? We have to do reverse transcription. We have to convert the available RNA virus into DNA. We have to convert the RNA into DNA. So the enzymatic reaction will take place from the swab which is collected or secretion which is collected and if it has a virus or RNA that will convert it into DNA. So that is the reverse transcription. 
and in case of polymerase chain reaction a fragment if we assume this is the e protein so we put a some enzymes which can select or copy only this e protein into billions of the copies we can take and that is the amplification and when it will become huge so at that time it will become easier to identify whether we have that e protein in this given sample or not so that is the polymerase chain reaction so friends this is about the polymerase chain reaction and the reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction hope this video will be useful for you so thank you thanks for one and all for watching my video